Hey guys, it's Chef Jason, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert, hanging out here today in my backyard grill stadium, getting ready for a fantastic turkey tip. Today we're talking all about trussing. We're going to show you how to tie this bird up, get it all set and ready to go, really bringing everything together, making this beautiful turkey an amazing showpiece at any fest, right? Whether it's a Thanksgiving fest or a Christmas fest, any party you've got going on, we're going to show you how to truss this bird, get it all set and ready to go. Now, we'll start off with this. Uh, trussing is going to tie this this bird up and make it very, very tight, right? Giving it a beautiful appearance, making it plump, juicy, and absolutely gorgeous. Now, it is going to take a little bit more time to uh, cook, maybe five to seven percent more time to cook, just because we're closing off that cavity, we're pulling everything in, uh, making it a much larger mass. Sometimes we rely on that cavity being open to get that air inside there and help us cook it. Now, also when it comes to trussing, I am not going to stuff it, I'm not going to put aromatics in there, nothing. Thing. I am uh, doing this purely as a decorative way to display an amazing turkey. Now, I'm also going to trust when I have already brined it or if I've already injected it uh, and then right before I season it. So I, I do all my flavoring and enhancing uh, and insurance policies first, then we truss it, get it seasoned and into the smoker, into the grill, onto the egg, into the oven, however you cook. So let's dig in. Let's get started. All right, let's talk a little bit about uh, what we need, right? So first of all, we've got our turkey all set, ready to go. That has been cleaned, prepped, and brined. So like I said before, we're gonna brine it ahead of time. That way when we truss it, it is already set and ready to go. You're gonna need some butcher's twine. So we've got a couple options. We've got a beautiful roll of cooking twine. Uh, you know what? I love having that roll of cooking twine around because then I don't have to buy any for a long, long, you know, five or six years time. Uh, cotton twine, this is also gonna work good as well. You want any cotton twine, and I go for a little bit thicker just to make sure. Hey, if you can't find these items in the cooking aisle, head over to the hardware section, and guess what? We've got some cotton twine as well. Make sure it's cotton, make sure it's not treated. Uh, get these guys all set and ready to go. But that's it, right? Pretty simple. Turkey, twine, let's get after it. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do this in steps today because I wanna make sure you can see everything. Now, normally we're going to use butcher's twine for this, right? But I wanted you to be able to see what we're doing today. So I'm actually just gonna use a black uh, nylon twine that we had in the hardware store uh, in the rope department. But I wanted you to be able to see it, like I said. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a loop, right? What I'm gonna do is we're gonna take that loop and go right over the neck like so then we're gonna pull back nice and tight. Now, we also are going to make what we call a surgeon's knot. Surgeon's knot is uh, one of the knots that they use when it comes to uh, sutures and different things like that. So we're actually gonna go through once, then we're gonna go through twice. The great thing is this is also a keeper. So now watch this, we're gonna pull nice and snug and get that all set like that. What it does, you can see, pulls that breast super tight, super close. Now what we're gonna do is go through here and tie that off like so. All right, step number one is finished. Step number two, you can see we've got this all tied off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the leg and over, around the leg and over and pull that nice and tight. And guess what? You can see, get that set. Those legs come in super nice. Now, I'm gonna go between the leg and the breast and I'm going to go in those little tiny parts right there on the wing. And now we're going to flip it over and we'll tie off this back section as well. So we'll go ahead again and do that surgeon's knot. And just take your time on this, guys. This isn't, uh, we're not looking to win any races. We're looking to keep this bird nice and tied up and trussed and beautiful and ready for the table. So we'll get that tied up. And we'll do one more little knot in here, like so. All right, we've got that surgeon's knot. So basically look at what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go back up this way towards the back of the turkey because we're going to finish up our knot right here. Now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do another surgeons, right? So we'll tie that once, we'll tie that twice, we'll pull that nice and tight like so, then we'll make that other knot and we are good 
to go. So now what I'll do is go ahead and trim this. My chef's tip for you, hey, don't worry about a little bit of extra rope. I would rather have much more than I needed versus not enough. So we started off in the front. We tied it on the neck. We came up back here, got it all set. We made that knot, plumped the turkey breast up, got it all set. Then we went to the legs for step number two, got that all tied. Then we flipped it over tied it this way, right? Because we went around the wings, tied it this way. And the final step, we went up to the back and got it all set. Now, if you look at that, that is a beautiful presentation bird, right? That is going to be absolutely fantastic. The next step is to do any final seasoning, maybe baste it with a little bit of butter, get it all set and ready for your cooking method. Now, be sure when you are ready to serve this, go ahead and go through here and remember where all that butcher's twine was and get everything cut off so that you are set and ready to go. Pretty sure this is the fastest video I've ever done, but I'll tell you what, trussing is really easy, right? I broke it into those three steps because uh, I just wanted to break it down and, and make it even easier yet. So that first step was getting it around the neck, tying up that breast cage and really getting that set and ready to go. Then the second step was getting it around the legs, around the wings, tied on the back. The third step was running it down the back and around the legs, getting it for that final tie. And like we said too, make sure you brine it ahead of time, get all that seasoning done. And then right before it's ready to go into your grills or your smokers, uh, however you do it, uh, get that final seasoning or butter or bacon fat or bacon blanket, uh, however you wanna do it. And I'll tell you what, we've got a lot of great videos coming up that will show you how to cook a turkey on one of our three favorite brands that we have here on the Grill Stadium. So don't don't forget to subscribe to the Ace Hardware YouTube channel for this recipe and more. I'm Chef Jason Morris, getting you in gear, ready, set, and dialed in for an amazing turkey. We'll see you soon at your local Ace Hardware.